small tutorial about painting water drops on peony petal with watercolors. For beautiful water drops, which are here, one, two, three, I put masking fluid on those very bright, uh, white, shiny spots. And that we are uh, going to be doing when, when this uh, peony petal will be almost finished and maybe really finished, only then we will start uh, doing these uh, water drops. First, the peony petal and then water drops. The surface is dry and we can paint water drops. First, with clean hands, we are taking off masking fluid. Carefully, not to damage the paper. Carefully try not to damage and then with a clean big brush wipe away the dirt and check carefully if there are some spots left. Those are the shiny parts of the water drops then with a very small tiny brush this is Windsor Newton zero uh, series 7 number 0 and I'm taking main mix of my petal and first I make the outline of the drop looking at my reference i'm making an outline drawing of the water drops Working with the tip of the brush carefully, it's done. Now I'm taking simple synthetic brush, wash it, dry it in a towel, and add water to the surface. Then with a paper towel, I'm wiping out the pigment from the surface. Again, it is coming slowly, but watercolors can be lifted out. I need just a small amount to make it a little bit lighter than it is around the water drop. Here is quite light. I almost don't need that to do that. And again, this area. This is called wiping out. Also use ever synthetic brush.
and it slowly becomes lighter. I just need a little, little amount of light in that water drop. That's done. Now what I'm going to do is make the shadow of those water drops. Looking at the reference and seeing where the shadow is. Carefully start by adding a little amount of pigment. Don't go too dark at the first. Like that. And now this water drop has all the shadow areas um, inside of it. So carefully going and making the shadow inside. Smoothing out the edges toward the middle part and stronger to the edges. And the same on this side. And strong edges, sharp edges, because water is leaving sharp edges. And carefully smoothing out so it gradually becomes lighter. Look, it looks really nice. Maybe a little bit smaller these white spots to make them not so obvious, not so huge with a light mix of your main color you can do that separate like here and it becomes more and more realistic and really sharp edges as you can see now with these ones sharp edge and smooth out the edge so Just be very observative of, of your reference image and try to do the same with your painting. Like this spot is too big, I'm making it smaller like that. Then I have to make shadow here. These spots are also too big. I am making them smaller. It's better to have bigger spots than smaller ones because it's easier to make something smaller than bigger with watercolors. Beautiful. I think they're coming out quite nice. Still, I need to make sharper edges like that. You see, as I make them sharper, water drop becomes more obvious, more realistic.
they really look pump, pump, pumping out of the surface. And that's it. I think they look quite realistic, quite convincing that those are water drops and not some kind of, I don't know, spots. And almost look like they're gonna roll down the surface. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new and uh, give me your, send me your results. I would love to see them give you some advices so see you in my next videos